Hello and welcome back. I'm Steve, Oscar Hotel 3, Sierra Papa November. And here is a long overdue review of the Pico APRS. Now, I bought this a couple of years ago. And I'm approaching this, or I, I was approaching this from a slightly different angle. My, my main requirement, I mean, the, the Pico APRS, as you may guess by the name, is an APRS tracker. However, it's also much more than an APRS tracker. And to me, the APRS side was actually a secondary function. I, I was traveling constantly at the time when I bought this, uh, mostly around Europe. And I was quite an active packet radio user. And I wanted to have something that could connect me to the packet network from hotel rooms, from portable locations, from out and about. And I was looking at multiple solutions. I was thinking of taking the FT817 with me with a sound card interface and uh, a laptop or netbook None of these solutions were particularly ideal for, for lightweight. If I'm traveling, staying in hotels, I typically only take a backpack with me, which has a, a couple of changes of clothes and my work laptop. So I, I didn't want to be carrying the FT817. So I, I was looking at several options, including various Bluetooth devices. Uh, I can't remember the names now. But they, none of them really fit my requirements. And then someone online suggested the Pico APRS. And I can just show the website here with some images and screenshots of the device. Now, the, the Pico APRS is an APRS tracker, but it also can perform, I mean, it's a transceiver and an APRS or GPS receiver in one tiny, tiny, tiny little box. And it produces one watt output. So it's a, a reasonable transceiver. But the advantage for me is that it can be put into KISS mode and connected via USB to the laptop. It just appears as a standard serial device. So with that, you can either run APRS from the laptop or you can run AX25 packet over KISS. Or you can do TCP IP over AX25. Basically anything, the, the only limiting factor is it's 1200 board packet. It won't do 9600 or 2400 or any of the other non-standard radio board rates. So it's 1200 board. But it's a really incredible little device. And for years, I was using this in hotel rooms. I was just connecting it to the laptop where the device is then powered over USB uh, as, a, as a KISS TNC interface connecting to packet networks in different countries. And then when I was out and about during the day traveling for work, I'd have it operating on the internal battery in my backpack with the antenna sticking out and it would be tracking me via GPS. So it's a... Really fantastic little device. Um, in addition to APRS, it does other things which are part of the APRS standard, such as messaging. You can send, send and receive messages. That does rely on the uh, APRS internet gateways in your area, gatewaying back to RF from the internet. And I know in the UK this really doesn't happen and I was pleasantly surprised in Finland that most of the the internet gateways, the eye gates, they do relay back. So if someone sends you a message and it comes via the internet, then your local uh, gateway will gate it back to RF and you'll receive the message on the, on the Pico APRS, which is really neat. I've already mentioned the size. I, I've taken a couple of shots, a couple of videos trying to show how tiny this thing is. And it is very lightweight as well. There's hardly anything in it. The The heaviest part of it is the, the battery, which is a standard camera battery. Uh, when I bought mine, it, I couldn't buy it with the battery because of laws around shipping. I had to source a, a battery locally, uh, but they're not hugely expensive, so so not a problem. 
And yeah, I said I, I've used this in multiple countries. I, I've got some maps here that show just sections of my journeys in different countries where I've just turned the device on, gone for a walk or gone for a cycle, and it's tracked me around the, the local area, which is kind of nice to have this tiny portable device that is so reliable. <laughs> it's 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 really good. On my website, I've got two APRS links, one that uh, takes you to APRS.fee, uh, tracking my mobile phone, which sometimes runs an APRS client. And I've got another link that takes you to the, the Pico APRS tracker. Uh, so you can see when I'm active on APRS, I've, I've got both those links there. Um, the mobile phone is generally much more accurate because it's constantly within reach of uh, a 3G or 4G uh, tower. The Pico APRS is a bit more intermittent, but of course doesn't rely on any, any mobile signal. And it's a bit more, I, I enjoy it a bit more because it's real RF as opposed to just the, the telephone network. So yeah, I've used this in the UK, Finland, Germany, Austria, Denmark, Sweden. Uh, I'm trying to think where else. I, th I think that's pr pretty much it. But it's a, yeah, really, really great little device. And if I'm cycling or something it just goes in a backpack i've got some some videos as well of just a, a local cycle where i've just thrown it in the backpack i i poke the antenna out of the zip on one of the top bits and that's that's how i how i carry it around so yeah i don't know it's long overdue i bought this device originally for the hotel room packet use with the gps thing as a, a secondary bonus uh, I wanted to do a review back then, but my work and my lifestyle meant it never happened. The, the device you're seeing here that is in the videos, it's been dropped a few times. It's been dropped face down on the screen, so there's a couple of scratches. But it survived really very well. And if you're at all interested, check it out on uh, picoaprs.de. And uh, the device is made by... Uh, db1nto and yeah i can't recommend it high enough it lives with me constantly whenever i'm out i usually pick it up and it fits in a pocket back pocket front pocket jacket pocket backpack it's so small it's literally the size of a small box of matches so it it, it fits anywhere so yeah please do check it out and i'd be interested to hear if others are using it whether they enjoy it as much as i do and if there's any other alternative solutions that people are using because when I looked at Bluetooth solutions they all relied on other devices I couldn't find any other self-contained devices um, which is what really attracted me to this despite the the fact it was a little bit more expensive so yeah thank you for watching and hopefully it won't take me two years to to do future reviews 73s from me Oscar Hotel 3 Sierra Papa November